hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today in front of me i have here the brand new showcase die set from tonic studios this one's called the shutter card creator die set so it comes in this um a4 storage wallet where you can store your dies after you've used them and on a magnetic sheet and i'll show you quickly the dies before i create a card with you so um it is what it says it's a shutter card creator so you've got the large piece here which creates your card base it is going to come with instructions you also get two designs here which create your little shutters so you get this piece here which creates like um if you have two of them it's going to create a diamond in the center and then you have this one here which i presume is going to create like a triangular shape um, but I'll see once I've got them out and I'll show you how they work. You also get these large panels here. And again, you can see the amazing detail dies you get. So you get these Verso dies, which are designed to cut into your cardstock. So you get two designs for the panels. This one, a um, bit more of a swirly, flourishy look. And this one, more like a leafy, kind of a floral look. So these also come with their shadow layers. This one's got the little dots. There's this one here, which is a bit more of a plain one, but it's really handy to have these layers because you can create different cards as well. It doesn't always have to be with the set it comes with. Just put this back on here. And then this one here, um, you've got with love sentiment, you've got lots of different layers. And then this section here is actually in halves. So this design matches this panel and then this design matches that panel so very versatile lots to use lots to play with you get extra little borders to create your band and this one says just for you this says with love so what i'm going to do is cut these bits and pieces out and create um oh i forgot another thing that it comes with a stamp set how could i forget i'm going to quickly show you <clears throat> So these stamps are designed to go in here you can also decorate the inside of your shutter there's a few more sentiments here let me just grab a piece of paper so these are the um, sentiments that you get you can see there and then these little leaves they're just so adorable and i've spotted the dies that actually um cut these out so that is so handy to create a, like a layered look so you get the coordinating dies with some of the stamps as well and there's a few more sentiments here really really beautifully put together kit really handy to have stamps as always with a die set so what i'm going to do is put everything aside and start cutting things out Okay, so to create my shutter card, um, I'll be using the Blossom Pink Classic card and the Ultra Smooth card, which is 240 GSM. I've also taken some pretty patterned paper. So I want to quickly show you what you're going to need to do. So with one of the cardstocks, so I'm using the white cardstock to cut the main base and you need to cut this twice. So what I've done is cut it in white and then I've cut this in patterned paper as well the next thing you're going to need to do is create a center panel to create your shutter with and this um, is going to sit here and fold over that's why you need two pieces one to cover the back so you're going to need this and this also comes with a shadow layer and also these decorative layers as well so you'll see a couple of cards I've already done, but I want to put, um, go through this one um, bit by bit so you know what to do. So the main thing, two of these, one of these, whether you want to add a circle or not for your shutter, or you can stamp behind it, but you need to create like an aperture in the center of this. So once you cut it out, put it through again with the circle die in the center. You're going to need one of this to create your belly band, which I've already done. So let's put them aside and then this die here creates the shutter window so this is going to go in and out there's two shapes so you get this one and then you also get um this one so this one creates you would flip it over and then use it like this so you can use two of this or two of this and then um that's it so those are all the bits and pieces you need so it's very very easy and you will be getting instructions like i have here 
so really really easy and you can use whatever papers and you've got so many different layers for for example this belly band there's some layers that go like this there's some patterned layers and i've got them right here so you can see there's just so many different layers you can use and create an elaborate card so what i'm going to do is put this card together and show you um before i do that i'll just quickly explain the second piece here you will need to be cu um, cutting this one so this is going to go on the reverse to hide my workings so i'll use that panel here and these two i'll use on the inside
so here is the completed card the only other thing i've added here is this beautiful dream drops in dragon scales beautiful iridescent green so i thought that looked really pretty so you can see all the detail there's the back and then when you open the band here is lots of love and kisses and it's really pretty so you can really go to town use all your dyes um use whichever you know um decorative dye you want and create your card you can add your ribbons flowers whatever you want as additional embellishments so this is the one we've just done i've also done another one here this says just for you using some gold card and i've added some flowers on the band it's not actually on the card and then here's the back and on the inside again i've used the decorative dies and the detail in the middle says i love you and that's an embossed um die with the diamond shaped die as well so that is that one and then i've done a bit more of a shabby one which is just using the shadow layers this says thank you and i've just used some pretty papers and on the inside again i finished it off with the pretty papers and the stamp in the middle says thank you so much so you don't always have to use all the dies together you can use them as shadow dies on pretty patterned papers so that is it from me for today please check out the links below to where you can find this beautiful die set and i will see you all very soon thanks for stopping by bye <laughs>